Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. Today we're trying a couple of new cocos, some different flavored cocos, and one I'm excited about, one... <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right, one of the cocos we got from our good friend Janice from Canada. Thank she you, Janice. She sent us a box not that long ago. And inside was a packet of hot chocolate, and it's maple flavored. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love hot chocolate, and I love maple, so I anticipate yeah. that I'm going to love it. We'll see. The other is from Red Redneck Cafe. And it is a bacon hot chocolate. And we chose to buy this. <laughs> we picked it out. We saw it. We paid money for it. We'll see. We'll see. We got this at Cost Plus World Market. We just thought it was so unique. May as well give it a try. So let's go make some cocoa. Let's do it. All right. So we've made our hot chocolate. Let's see. Sniff test. <laughs> smells like hot chocolate. I don't Try that one. Any <laughs> no, no, no. That was the bacon, <coughs> the bacon one, and you can definitely tell the it, it's a bacon flavor or scent. It That's smells it. like burnt coffee. Mm, it smells like it, bacon grease and chocolate to me. I don't, but. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what? Which one do you want to try first? Uh, probably, probably the this maple. One. Yeah. Yeah, because that one might ruin everything. It might. It's really hot. That's good. That's really good. Uh, whoa. <laughs> That's a really good hot chocolate. What brand is this? We should say. Gourmet Village. Gourmet Village. Yeah. Hot chocolate. A little bit of maple flavor. Mm -hmm. It's It's not overpowering no, in the it's, least it's bit. Very much balanced. Also, come check out our Instagram if you haven't already. I'll put pictures to this. This is, oh, I put pictures for a lot of things, but I will post pictures. Um, of this package. This is probably the cutest little hot chocolate package I've yeah, ever seen. Cute. There's a little hockey goal and a little hat and skates and gloves. Yeah, and, and in Canada they call skates. that a toque. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's like, you know, skiing and snowshoeing stuff. Very, very, very cute. Like it. Uh, the hot chocolate is amazing. Alright, All right, so this... <sighs> Go ahead, palate cleanse. <laughs> you sure? You sure you want a palate cleanse? No, I'm not sure. See, I went like this and tried to keep from poisoning him. Oh, I can't get past the smell. I can't. Does it smell like what, does it taste like what it smells like? <laughs> yes. Actually worse. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you already took a drink. I did. like a rotten egg taste to it. No, here's what this is. I'm sure the good people at whatever this company is um, make amazing products. This one is not it. This tastes like somebody took hot chocolate and soaked bacon flavored dog treats in it. That's exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> so how would you rank it? <laughs> Sorry, what is this company, Redneck Cafe? Sorry, or <laughs> you, you know. deserve it. You know. I mean, sometimes things are created because somebody says, oh my gosh, people love this and they love that. Let's put them together. And people think they have an amazing thing. And then other times there's things that are created just for the sheer novelty. Right, right. And I feel like 
bacon flavored things are made for the sheer novelty sometimes. and they sell regardless sometimes those things are amazing and sometimes not so much this um it kind of makes me think it's a novelty because of the name redneck cafe yeah you know i i don't know that's what not I, it what i do know yeah is it's it's not good um they should have taken a page out of gourmet villages notebook there that you know maybe a little less is more in this case so you know a hint a hint of that flavor might be all right but this as far as hot chocolate or hot cocoa which do you say hot chocolate or hot cocoa also oh i wish we had it but we don't i don't think aldi sells maple flavored whipped cream oh yeah forgot about that do we have some we don't have any no oh my gosh that would be perfect we've had that before and thought it was amazing that would be well, perfect for that on aldi tomorrow i am a whipped cream with hot chocolate oh, yeah. kind of girl right um i used to like marshmallows when i was a kid but now it's whipped cream and i can see that with the maple whipped cream oh for sure oh my gosh that'd for be great sure. there's no amount of whipped cream or marshmallows or both that is going to save this guy though that just being honest really tasted kind of rancid it was brutal if um on, what I was gonna say is on a scale of like durian cookies if durian cookies are like a one or negative a thousand if you haven't seen that video you'll have to check it out um, this is I like it better than durian cookies I don't For have sure. to spit it out right but I would have to be paid a lot of money to finish the rest of that that just feels like it's gonna give me a stomach ache that's maybe a two maybe I kind of give it a four. It's still bad, but it, it's worse than just okay, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, three and a half, four, something like that for me. But it's, it's, I wouldn't get it again. This, so my favorite hot chocolate I've ever had in my life, which could almost make me cry it was so good, was Ghirardelli. Hot, uh. Like hot cocoa at Ghirardelli when it was cool and crisp in San Francisco. I'm sure part of that is just nostalgia and how that felt to like, I was freezing cold and how it felt like as a kid to have my hands around a, a yeah. cup of hot chocolate. That's my favorite. This this is probably a nine for me, an eight and a half, nine. It's yeah. really good hot cocoa, especially for, you know, powdered hot yeah. cocoa, you know, considering it's not from scratch. I like it very much. Would definitely, definitely want to try more. Yeah, it's high up there for me too. I'd give it an eight. Yeah. Okay, cool. And we have another one. So that we do can... right here. See? Dun, dun. Nice. Now everybody cross your fingers and your toes that Aldi still has maple whipped cream. And if whipped not, cream. let's make some. That's right. So anyway, thank you again, Janice, for sending this amazing hot cocoa. We really yeah. appreciate it. No, thank you to Cus Plus World Market Redneck yeah. Cafe Bacon. Sorry, that's mm. that is not it. So if you're not following us on social media, please come find us. We will also put a link to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, as well as a link to subscribe to our two other channels if you didn't know we had them down in the comments of this video. Let us know if you are Team Whipped Cream or Team Marshmallow. Uh, in the comments on this video as well. Right. I think that's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.